entertainmentbuddha.com Right now, fans of the Batman, Matt Haywood here from entertainmentbuddha.com to review Batman, the Enemy Within, The Enigma from Telltale Games, which is the follow-up season to the studio's first Batman series. Spoilers from the past season will be present in this review. Like the first episode of Telltale's original Batman series, the Enigma was packed full of narrative to set up the main plot that will arch over its five episodes. I found the content to be meaty in one of the longer Telltale Games episodes in recent memory. Over the course of two plus hours, you'll catch up with Bruce Wayne and depending on if you played the first season, you can import your decisions to continue your tale. From the get-go, you're thrust right into the action, and for a Telltale game, it felt like more action-oriented interactions were cooked into this episode. So it appears like Telltale may be opting for a more physical experience for Bruce and Batman this time around. You still just interact with QTEs, but I found the heated exchanges to be reflective of a night out with the bat, so they're tolerable in a game of this nature. In terms of this episode's plot, the title gives it away. You must confront the Riddler after becoming a fabled hero and partner of the GCPD due to your actions in the first season. Batman is much more accepted now in Gotham and is becoming the vigilante hero we know him to be. The Riddler, on the other hand, has resurfaced in Gotham with the sole intention of knocking the bat down a few pegs. In Riddler fashion, he definitely gives Batman a run for his money in terms of the situations he gets the bat into, which naturally all require him to solve some sort of riddle. I found the portrayal of the Riddler to be one of his best yet, because Telltale made him feel like a genuine cold-blooded killer with a penchant for playing games with his targets. He came off as ruthless and unforgiving, and just felt like a bigger badass than I ever thought the Riddler could be. He definitely makes for a great villain for Batman and Bruce to take on thanks to his mental skills, which rival, if not exceed, Bruce's own. While the Riddler plays the main baddie in the first episode, seeds start to get planted for the rise of the Joker, who is still known as John Doe at this point. He and Bruce, depending on how you interacted with him in the first season, have an odd working relationship, and you're presented with some tough decisions on how to handle it in a very awkward exchange at a funeral. Let's just say that John Doe is making moves and Bruce may very well be assisting him without knowing. In addition to the Riddler joining the cast, Amanda Waller is also introduced, so Telltale is incorporating even more DC Comics characters into the mix. She definitely brings a bit of mystery to this season, and based on how things end up, she'll have a heavy hand in the events to come. Batman The Enemy Within, The Enigma, really is a solid jumping off point for Telltale's new season of its Batman franchise. It's a rather deep episode with some great storytelling and more action-oriented moments than a typical Telltale Games episode. It sets up the main narrative arc for this new season very well, and it also has broadened the world with new DC favorites being added to the mix. It earns an 8 out of 10 review score from Team EB, and a glowing recommendation to play from yours truly. Thanks for watching. Matt Haywood signing off for entertainmentboo.com, where we make you a better geek one post at a time. Entertainmentboo.com.